a major update into the investigation of an officer who shot and killed a man last fall. I'm Noah Cornelius in Fond du Lac County reporting from the Highway Commission on what we know now as well as the health of his canine companion. Fond du Lac County District Attorney Eric Tony says there will be no charges against Deputy Blaine Evans. The Sheriff's Office says last October Evans had gone to a home where a woman accused 34-year-old Kyle Massey of assaulting her. Officials say Massey took off and when later confronted, pulled out a gun. The Sheriff's Office says Massey shot at Evans 45 times, but Evans, who avoided being hit, hit the suspect twice. Sheriff Ryan F. Waldschmidt spoke on behalf of the County Sheriff's Office defending Evans' actions. No officer comes to work, no deputy comes to work with the intent on getting in a shootout with anybody. We're always hoping for a peaceful resolution to no matter what the circumstances are. But while Evans escaped unharmed, his canine partner, Iroh, did not. Tony shared something Evans said, which was captured on police cameras. You saved dad and we have to save you. Iroh was struck five times by gunfire, one of those shots shattering his back right leg. Evans, joined by Fond du Lac police officer Charles Beckford, transferred Iroh to the hospital, where doctors saved his life. Walt Schmidt says that through all of this, canines are more than just tools. They are family. Each one of them goes home every night with their handler, uh, lives with their family at their private residence, and then goes to work for eight hours, just like uh, Deputy Evans did that night. And uh, so they're as much of a pet and a part of a family as they are a tool when they're working in law enforcement. Deputy Evans was present at the press conference, but did not speak. The sheriff says K-9 Iroh will be ready to return to duty in a couple months. In Fond du Lac, Noah Cornelius, NBC 26.